cheap mail. So sheet metal. Same as damn. Yep. Wanna well, know what it rang up? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> sheet metal, sheet metal. Well, hey everybody. It's gonna be one of them days maybe. So we are at what we refer to as the, the ant farms. Cellar hole, 1700s all the way up until the early 1900s. And uh it's in the 30s. As you see, everyone's got their hood on. I didn't even enjoy taking that off for a second. But the plan is to swing here for the day, pick with the small coils, and see if we can find stuff that we had never found before. We've been here many a times. And have managed to pull stuff out of the ground every time we've been here. So hopefully this time, with these machines and these coils, It'll give us a different angle. So stay tuned and let's see what happens. brass and it's a door lock plate. Oh yeah. The two throw bolts would be there. Nice. Mounted on the inside of a door. Nice. You are right on the uh, right on the edge too. Yep. So good. Just minutes in and you actually found a thing that was definitely a thing. Right. And it's brass so somebody else must have heard it at some point but didn't dig it. Right. I wonder if it's even in there. Yeah, I'm gonna do something like that. Oh, it's uh Huh. Hey, you know what? Is that a I think I actually picked a piece of melted escutcheon over here. Yep, well there is more. That is more. Nice. Yeah, actually, Dane, it was. It was somewhere right right in the area of the chimney stack. Nice, good pick. Yeah. Well, as we're walking around cleaning up sheet metal signals because they're really going to have to be done, the first time I ever noticed this. That was definitely intentionally done. Wonder what they use that for. Like right out beside the cellar hole. It's kind of cool, right? Quainos? Well, I'm just over here brushing up on my tactics. Oh, you got a brush? Yeah. All the bristles are still there. Very cool. Yeah. You can see them all. I wonder if it's old horse hair or something. That is cool. It sounded the same as the lead I just dug over there. A little tiny piece. <laughs> Go figure, right? Yep. Gotta dig those signals. Nice. Cool, man. We like different things around here. Yeah. I first I gotta say I am pulling more old smashed lead yes. out of this iron. That's what I just dug over there. And and I'm stoked for that because it's all diggable signals, right. but nobody else heard it. Big chunk of uh, smashed lead right here, 78, 79. Weird. I got pewter baby spoon handle. Nice. Or or, or, or bowl. It's a nice job. Yeah. Real nice job, actually. And, and that's older than 90% of the stuff we pull out of here. Yeah, we have a hard time getting back a couple hundred years. Yeah. So, there's potential. It's just picking. It's just picking. Yeah. All it's been for me is sheet metal and buckshot. Um, I've gotten uh, old pistol balls. Huh. Yeah, so... Um, 
there's more stuff in here. Well, go get it. I'll try. I, I'm doing better than last week. <laughs> Always look at things closely because sometimes there's a diamond in that lump of coal. What I thought was sheet metal turned out to be part of a thimble. Whoa. Yeah. You see the little knurled design or whatever they call it? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, jimping, essentially. Yep. Wow. Talk about tough because I'm over in the lip and there's a lot of iron. Yeah, there is. Right. And sheet metal, that's the worst part. I know. That's why I assumed it was sheet metal looking like that. I flipped it over, wiped the dirt off. I'm like, wait a minute. Like that looks like a thimble. Good job. Nice. Jen actually did that too with the uh, the face of a two-piece button. She thought it was sheet metal. And she had it in her hand for a while and it turned out to be a button face. <laughs> right. So you never know. Good. Yeah. I thought it was going to be lead, which we're digging a ton of, but look at that little itty bitty target. I don't even know what the hell it is. Doubling up today. Spoon handle? Yep. Oh yeah. Iron. And then we check the X files over here. And a file. Same hole. Nice. Definitely. I found the barn door over there. No way. So I got the full hinge and then uh, the strap hinge. Killer, yeah. actually. Wow, and that's that's twice now you've dug the full hinge. Right, yep. So this would have gone into the big log. Right. This would have gone into the log, one of the logs that made up the door. And then this would have gone onto the door proper. And was that right over behind you where the barn? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Wow. First I got this, and then this was underneath it. Yeah. Nice, Dan. So this is good iron. Yeah. All right, back to Wainos. He's working the same, I, same hole. Yeah, I got up and swung, and there was another target in there. Whoa. Yeah. Look at the size of that one, huh? It's tiny. That's a beautiful buckle. I love the way. That it looks shapes. like it's gonna be shiny. It might be. Give it, it a little. Like... Uh, give it a little love. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Do it again. All right. See, that's the thing with this place. You know, it's like there's just so much junk mixed in. And the other situation is there's the road. And if this place has been desolate for 80, 90 years, people just threw their cans and buckets and everything else. So Fine. that's why we're doing so much cleaning. Good job. Right. Well, here's the first signal out of about the last hundred I've dug that seems a little deeper. Let's find out. I've been pretty much on cleanup duty so far. Which is fine, because we frequent this spot. But it'd be nice to find something cool. Yes. Not only is it cool and old, it's really old. Pewter button. So, getting somewhere with the signals. That took... A long time to get to today, but I'm happy for it. Another example of the signals. The machine just goes wild. This was just under the leaves. That's probably the largest door lock mechanism I've ever dug. Look at the size of that thing. Usually they're, you know, off uh, chests and smaller things so there's the, my interesting find of the day pretty neat wow, is it actually a button it's a round thing with a hole in it on the side uh, banged up 
we've hit 43 degrees so a little bit long so this is the shifted area uh loaded with beer cans and stuff and wayne was, he just yelled out keep it just in the way everything shifted you really got to know how to read the area yes oh beautiful harmonica reed yeah it was down there i dug a chunk of beer can right beside it and there was still a a nice low 80s brassy type of tone. So you dug that with beer can? Yeah. <laughs> well with this piece. This piece was kind of like over here and then I had to dig a little bit off to the side to get that. See? And here I am setting up the scene telling them it's beer can alley which... <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. It is. Living the high life. Nice. <laughs> Another one of those things. Got two little nodes on the top. Oh yeah. Threads right there, and then two more. So you keep finding those? Yeah, some type of electrical thing. Huh. But they sound good, so right. gotta dig them. Interesting. That's it. We're going because can't warm up. <sighs> yeah, it, it never even hit near 50 today like it was supposed to. 43 was the high, and uh, you can only dig so many bullets for so long. Mm -hmm. But we did find a few things, and oh, as you said, an almost impossible site. Mm -hmm. Right. So we did two things. We cleaned up one of our sites, and we found a few things. That's it. We're going home. See you guys soon. Stay young. Always keep them guessing. Solve the mystery of finding history. Nice. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Live for your die, folks. Thanks, Scooby-Doo, for that one.